What is going on YouTube and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm just going to be talking to you guys about email marketing. If you're not using it guys then trust me email marketing is probably the most powerful tool that us dropshippers have at our disposal. Uh, I thought it would be a good subject to topic right now because one of my stores actually reached 10,000 emails on its email list so I thought why not do a video where I can actually show you guys and break down the numbers and just actually illustrate how powerful this tool is. Guys if you're a beginner or if you're not using email marketing yet then you need to get on this straight away because I talk a lot about surviving in the dropshipping world you need to have those back-end processes in place and email marketing is one of those processes is one of those tools that you just must be using believe me don't make the same mistake I did when I first began when I first started in dropshipping I didn't believe that people clicked on these sales emails and actually bought products through email. So I didn't take any notice of it, I didn't implement it, but believe me guys, it works and it's one of the most profitable resources that you can actually use and implement in your store. So that being said then guys, we're gonna jump into the computer and we're gonna get straight into it. What is going on then guys, welcome to my computer. So as I said at the beginning of the video in the intro, I just wanna to illustrate to you guys the power of email marketing. Um, so when I first started, I just didn't believe that, like even today when I receive sales emails, most of the time I just like completely ignore them or delete them or move them to the junk or even unsubscribe. So that was always my perception. Like this is one of the biggest faults that people have when they go into a business. So they always approach things based on what they think, whereas that's not necessarily what like your market thinks or what your customer base thinks so you can't go off your own perceptions you need to like experiment and actually try things before you make up your mind about something so when i first began i obviously shopify collects your emails automatically every time somebody places an order but i didn't actually use those emails until three or four months into my journey it wasn't until um in fact gone christmas time uh, coming up to the new year where I actually started implementing email marketing and like uh, as soon as I, as soon as I did it just brought in revenue that I otherwise wouldn't have um wouldn't have had so immediately it just kind of shocked me that and it kind of made me feel a bit stupid actually that I weren't implementing it from day one because I'd lost out on all that revenue in those first few months that I could have otherwise been making uh, so as I said also that what gave kind of gave me the idea of this video is that one of my stores actually reached 10,000 emails on its subscribers list recently uh, so I thought why not do a video I haven't done anything on this subject before uh, so yeah that's the top of this video I won't blab on for any much longer uh, let's get straight into it so I've got some numbers here then for the store so as I said it's just reached 10,000 emails I'm not gonna go into the exact number I want to try and keep it simple for you guys so 10,000 emails then and the average order value for that store is 17 pound 88 pence so there's three different methods here then that I use email marketing wise to generate revenue and the first one then is abandoned cards so every month then I get approximately 200 of them that is where somebody comes onto my store adds the product to cart and they get to the point where they enter all their details including their email address because obviously without an email address then you've got no way of sending them an email so that they actually go through to that point and then abandon the car so this could be for any number of reasons it could be that they just got distracted or they no longer want the product or whatever it is anyway so the conversion rate for this store then was 16 percent so i've done just some quick maths here so 200 abandoned carts per month and with a 16 percent conversion rate equals 32 conversions or 32 purchases uh, so 32 purchases times the 17 pound 88 average order value works out at 572 pounds and 16 pound 16 pence per month so that's extra revenue that if i didn't have that um sequence of emails in place that i would be missing out on so I think I'll use an app called Mailchimp, and it's completely automated. Once it's set up, then you don't you well you don't have to do anything whatsoever. It just completely automate, which is brilliant. Uh, I pay a hundred pound a month to send all of these emails, so immediately even with abandoned carts alone, I'm making a five hundred percent return. So yeah, straight away uh, you can already see the power of it, um, and we haven't even got into the big numbers yet. So. The next email sequence that I use are post sales sequences. So whenever somebody buys from me, I will send them a receipt by email 
and then also on that email will be usually an incentive to come back and buy more so this will either be like more recommended products related to what they've already bought or most typically most typically what i use is just a voucher code so hey thanks for buying from us here's a voucher code for a further 20 percent off your next order uh, that's personally what i use so this particular store then gets 600 new sales per month so what i mean by that is obviously i get repeating customers but i the brand new customers people who have never bought from me before uh, is 1600 of those sorts of people per month um, so they're the people that are receiving the post sales emails and the conversion rate for these emails are actually quite low which could be expected because obviously they haven't received their product just yet they still don't know whether to trust us uh, to then to actually go on and further place another order so the conversion rate is quite low but again every penny counts so it's 0.96 percent so 600 post sales emails then per month with a 0.96 percent conversion rate equals an extra 15 orders per month so it's only 15 times 17 pound 88 which is the average order value which equals 268 pounds and 20p per month so not a massive number but as i said at the beginning uh, i pay 100 pound a month for mailchimp and i can send unlimited emails and or oh, and that makes me like over a 200 percent return on what mailchimp is costing me so again even if i was just to use this sequence alone uh, i'll be making my money back it'll be a good investment and another thing to say again same similar to the abandoned carts is this sales sequence is completely automated once it's set up you don't have to do anything the emails will be generated and sent automatically along with the product recommendation and voucher codes so like i said before i use an app called mailchimp and it integrates with shopify absolutely brilliantly and you can link things like voucher codes and product recommendations so it just makes like the whole process just so effortless so they're the first two strategies or the first two sequences are used so already we're almost at in fact it's at, we're almost at a thousand pound per month so we're almost looking at a thousand percent return on our money and this is without our final sale sequence which is actually the big uh, number generator where as you see in the topic of the video where actually the bulk of that revenue comes from so this is your typical marketing email so this is actually where i will target existing people who have already purchased from me and i will send them new products that i'm load into the store or there'll be products similar to what they've already bought or it could just it could just be anything basically so 10,000 emails then on the list so this will go out to every single customer as previously purchased so it's going out to effectively 10,000 different people and the typical conversion rate for the for this email for this store is 1.74 percent now 1.74 percent is actually not that great um, I did do a bit of research and digging on this online and I found this website here I'm not sure how reliable it is um, but I was just trying to just to kind of try and it well for <clears throat> for my own sake actually to see whether it was actually performing well or not and I found this website and as you can see here e-commerce the click-through rate average this is averages is actually 2.32 percent uh, click-through rate so my store is actually performing not as good as what the average e-commerce store should be so this number could actually be a lot higher anyway that being said the conversion rate then is 1.74 percent 10,000 emails with a 1.7.4 percent conversion rate is 174 conversions so that's an extra 174 orders uh, 174 orders then times the average order value which is 17 pounds 88 and that's an extra three thousand one hundred and eleven pounds and twelve pence in revenue so every time that particular email gets sent out then that will bring in just over three grand now as you can see i've times that number by three and that's because i usually send three of these sales e marketing emails per month i don't like to over spam my customers just because it will just incur it will annoy them basically and they'll start unsubscribing or complaining and that's the last thing we want so I will be contacting and emailing my customers a lot more often than that, 
but most of the time it's to try and give them value because if you if you can give something to your customer for free so it doesn't have to be anything physical just even like something like a blog post something that they're interested in you're giving them value you get and that's building that relationship and that trust um, and ultimately that's what's going to lead to repeat customers and increased conversion rates so uh, 3,111 pounds and 12 pence times three and that gives me an extra revenue per month of just over nine grand so as you can see then guys the power of email marketing is absolutely huge um, if you're not using this then you are leaving money on the table like you can I, I pay a hundred pound per month for my, my mail chips my mail chimp subscription um, and these are the sorts of numbers you can generate from it so to begin with it is a slow burner because obviously I wouldn't be able to get anywhere near this number without those initial 10,000 emails but this just stresses the importance of email marketing and why you need to be doing it and it also stresses the importance I've talked about it before in previous videos that if you're not making crazy money or crazy crazy profit margins on the front end so directly related to your Facebook ads then that it's not the be all and end all because as you can see if you if you can go out there and acquire somebody's email and like uh, just be quits so don't make any money but then don't lose any money at all then that's still a good thing because in the back end you've got your marketing emails where you can start building your email list and then when you start getting a thousand emails two thousand emails then you can like bring those customers back in they spend more money so it, this is completely new top of the video I'm kind of going off topic here but um, to, uh, the key to surviving in this business is longevity and in order to survive a long time you need to bring customers back in for a cheaper cost than what your Facebook ads are going to cost you so this is where email marketing comes into play it's absolutely huge guys if you're not doing it then do it now go and do it right now um, because this is where you will make so much money um, this is where you're gonna get the best return on your money regardless of what you think now it does work I can't stress the importance of it that much um, so yeah just make sure you're doing it um, I'm gonna wrap the video up now because I'm just kind of ranting on um, but any guys any questions on this at all uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos on this I can actually show you inside my MailChimp account and show you how to set up these automated emails if, that, if that's something you're interested in uh, make sure you let me know um, but until then do your other research like watch other youtubers and just make sure you start implementing this from day one so if you're still watching then guys thank you very much i really do appreciate it if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button um, and if you haven't subscribed yet then what the hell are you doing make sure you bang that subscribe button now uh, thanks for watching then guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow